Hi there everyone, it's Ben from Medical Doorway again. In this presentation we're going to focus on Masaryk University in Brno, which again is one of the most popular universities in Europe for students wishing to pursue medicine and dentistry studies. As usual in these presentations, we're going to focus more on the application and the entrance exam procedures because that tends to be the areas that most students uh, get in contact with us when they've got questions. But we will start off talking a little bit about Masaryk University and the city of Brno where the university is to be found. We'll finish off in around about 10 minutes time talking about how to accept your place and the process of becoming a student at Masaryk University. So Masaryk University is to be found in the Czech Republic's second city, that's Brno. It's actually in the south uh, east of the country, the area of, of Czech Republic known as Moravia. And the city is about 300,000 people, which will mean that you actually get a city with all of the amenities that you'd expect of a major city, including an airport with direct flights from London Luton and London Stansted airports. The faculty building itself is just outside of the city centre and is a brand new building. It really is an impressive building when you arrive at it. The hospital's on site and just opposite the faculty, there's a shopping mall with a bridge connecting to the faculty where you'll find supermarkets, a variety of shops and some restaurants as well. Because again, it's outside of Prague, what you'll find is that the tuition fees are also lowest and Masaryk University has some of the lowest tuition fees to be found in the Czech Republic. So in case you're wondering where Brno is, I've just put a map on this slide here and you can see Brno there with the red marker in the southeast of the Czech Republic. What you'll notice straight away is that it's very well located to a number of major cities. In fact, if you decide not to fly into Brno directly and you're perhaps you're going to fly into Prague, it's very easy to get a train and actually cheap as well to get a train from Prague or an intercity bus directly to Brno. Alternatively, it's even possible to fly to Vienna Airport in Austria. Bear in mind that both countries are part of the Schengen Passport Free Zone, so once you've arrived in Vienna, you are, will be able to travel to the Czech Republic without having your passport uh, checked at the visa for the vast majority of cases. And I myself have flown to Vienna Airport and then got the bus to Brno, and that's possible to do for around about 11 to 15 euros, depending on how busy the route is. So the faculty, as I said, is extremely modern and it's a new build. And this picture here you can see is the library, which is open uh, for extended hours uh, in the vast majority of the academic year. And as you'll see, the faculty itself on the hospital site is extremely modern, giving you a lot of state-of-the-art facilities for, as I said, some of the lowest fees in the Czech Republic. Just outside of that red building there, you can see the bridge, and that goes to the mall just opposite the uh, faculty buildings, where all the shops and restaurants are. There's also a very well-connected public transport system of trolley buses, trams and buses that will stop right outside the faculty building, taking you direct to the city centre of Brno. So most students get in contact with us <clears throat> about the application procedures and the process of ent entrance examination. So let's spend a little bit of time looking at that now. Generally speaking, there are two uh, entrance exam periods that we run in the UK for the university. They happen in April and July. April tends to be more popular with students who are on gap years as well as graduates, people doing their final years of degrees, but also some students who just want to get the exams out the way before their A-level exams take place. Also, any students that require a visa, so if you're not a UK, EU or EEA passport holder, you will also have to take the exam in April to allow enough time to secure your student visa after you've taken the exam and received an, an offer. You can take the exam in July after you've finished your A-levels or if you've decided to apply a bit later. Really good option for most students and the entrance exams in July tend to be a lot more popular than the entrance exams in April. Um, but this is limited only to students who don't require a visa for their admission after they receive an offer. Applying again, uh, like any other Czech universities with a medical doorway, couldn't be easier. Simply go to our online Czech application form and you can complete the form there, upload a copy of your passport, and that will come through to the medical doorway team. Once you've paid your entrance examination fee, you'll get access to the uh, medical doorway Czech test prep package and your place on the exam is confirmed. So the entrance examination for Masaryk University is mandatory and it lasts three hours. It's a classic multiple choice exam. 
So there are three papers, so you have an hour per paper. Chemistry and biology papers are mandatory, and then you'll have a choice of maths or physics. Overall, 120 marks are available, and the pass mark at the moment is 60%, which works out at 72. That can go up or down from year to year, depending on how people are forming on the exam, but that's a good ballpark figure that we should use as a guide. Now, in the chemistry, biology, and physics papers, you'll be given 40, mark, uh, 40 questions, I should say, per paper, which mean, means each question has one mark towards your uh, overall score. The maths paper has only 20 questions because each question takes longer to answer compared to the care questions in chemistry, biology and physics. So in the maths paper there will be two marks available per question. But every single question has the same format. You'll be given a question or a stem followed by four responses. Those responses will be added to by a fifth response which is always no correct answer. So some of the questions will potentially have no answer which is correct out of A, B, C or D. So on the next slide we'll take a look at an example from chemistry and we'll also take a look at an example from biology as well. So let's look at this example from chemistry which is taken from one of Masaryk University's past papers. So you're provided with a question, what is the total number of electrons in magnesium cation Mg2 plus? Then you're provided with four actual options. 12 electrons, 9 electrons, 8 electrons, or 14 electrons. If you happen to believe none of one of those four answers is correct, and in this particular exam that it's only one correct answer, so there's not more than one correct answer, you will tick no answer is correct. So you're always provided with five options, and that fifth option is always no answer is correct. So based on the periodic table, the atomic number of magnesium is 12. So if it's a cation of 2+, plus, it's lost 2 electrons, so the correct answer should be 10 electrons, but obviously in this case that is not provided as an answer. So you would tick no answer is correct, and in this case you'd be correct, and you would receive 1 mark, which goes towards the marks out of 120 to get you past the pass mark. So let's take a look at this another example from biology and again this is taken from one of the past papers of the Masaryk University entrance exam. So where does gaseous exchange take place? So I've got the option of trachea, pharynx, bronchus, alveolus or no answer is correct. And based on my knowledge of biology the alveolus is the end of the bronchial tree where gaseous exchange take place so I will tick the answer. So in this case, I've ticked alveolus, which is the correct answer, meaning that I'll also get a mark for this question as well. So on the Masaryk University entrance exam, you start with zero. There is one mark per question, one correct answer per question, and then you will work your way up. And hopefully by the end of the entrance exam, you will have secured enough marks to secure your offer to Masaryk University. So unlike some of the universities in the Czech Republic, there is no interview after the entrance examination. So once you've completed the papers, you're free to go. Now, based on our experience, the results are usually released within two to three days. Can take longer sometimes if there's a national holiday or if there are a lot of papers to be marked, because once they're marked, they are also double checked as well to make sure everything's accurate. And after that, you will receive a notification whether you passed the exam or failed the exam. You will receive your marks as well. So let's say, for example, you haven't done as well as you expected. You can get your, an idea of your marks and that will tell you where you've been strong. And it will also tell you areas for development. And this is really useful in case you're applying to other Czech universities, taking other entrance exams in the following weeks, or in case you want to reapply to the university the following year. I'll take this opportunity to talk about the foundation year. This is something quite unique to Masaryk University and some students have gone on to this foundation year when they've had the feedback of the exam and perhaps they haven't done as well in the exam as they expected because there's some big gaps in their knowledge but they still want to study at the university. So there is the possibility of doing a foundation year which covers biology, chemistry, physics and also starts you off in Czech language and that is often a good way to develop your knowledge before you start year one if the entrance exam indicates that you haven't been performing at the level required to start year one of the medicine degree. Alternatively, some students who've not done science in their high school education or their A-levels decide to take the foundation year as the route into medicine. 
So once you've passed the exam, you will receive your offer documentation. Now this will be sent over email, but you'll also receive hard copies in the mail as well. Now there is a lot of information in that offer pack, so please make sure that you pay close attention to it. And the one document you need to pay attention to is the invoice. On the invoice, you'll be asked to pay your first semester or first year of tuition fees, depending on how you want to pay. The important thing about that invoice is there is a date on it that you need to make the payment by. If you fail to make the payment by that date, you may lose your place. It is occasionally okay to ask for an extension and we can do that for you. So please do get in contact with us early if you need an extension to that payment date. It may be possible, it may not. But if you don't ask for that and it's not granted, you may lose your place if you don't make that payment. Once you have accepted your place, at one point, usually the beginning of August, you can start to think about booking your accommodation. Now, the university have campus accommodation and there's an online booking system for that, which you can log into once the system is open and to reserve your room. Alternatively, you may want to book a private apartment in Brno, and many of our students have done that, either individually or in a group. And like I said earlier, the city has got its own airport, very easy to fly to and back. So it's very simple to do an early visit to actually find, kind of find your way around, get your bearings, and then uh, get used to your future life as an international student in Masaryk University. One thing you do need to do at Masaryk University is to legalise academic documents from the UK. If you're an A-level candidate, this will have to be delayed until your A-level certificates are released from around about mid-November. But if you're in possession of your documents, we need to get them legalised, issued with an apostyle certificate by the Foreign Office in the UK or an apostyle certificate from the country, which is a member of the Hague Apostyle Convention, the way your documents came from. We need then to get them translated into Czech. And we work with local translators to make sure the cost of that uh, is as low as can possibly be. So two to three weeks before you depart for the Czech Republic, you will have the opportunity to attend our pre-departure briefing, which is always held in central London. This is a really useful event and it gives you the chance to kind of start to think about what you're going to experience as you, in your life as an international student. And both students and parents find this event really useful, very informative. And in addition to meeting the Medical Doorway team, you'll also meet some of our colleagues from the Czech Republic who can help you out if you have any problems when you're there. Now, it's not just limited to Masaryk University students, so you'll also meet students who are going to Charles First Faculty, Charles Second Faculty, Charles University and Havich Kralova, as well as Palatsky University. So you'll be in good company with a number of other students and for parents, a number of the parents who are going out to the Czech Republic for an extended period of time to study medicine or dentistry. And then eventually you're going to be in Brno and the Medical Doorway team will be on site in your enrolment week. We are there during the enrolment period to help out with all the processes and procedures that you need to go through. We can also help out with things like bank accounts, travel cards, anything you need while we're there, we are able to help with. Again, we come out completely free of charge. We're there on site to give you a hand. And in addition to that, we'll also do a meet and greet with all the students and everyone gets the chance to go for a meal to get to know each other and feel settled in Brno and Masaryk University. So like I said at the start, the idea of this presentation wasn't to talk a lot about the university, but was more to give you an idea of the application, entrance exam and enrolment processes. If you need more information on Masaryk University or any of the universities that we work with, head along to medicaldoorway.com. There's a lot more information there, both on the university pages as well as on our newsfeed. You can always drop us an email, hello at medicaldoorway.com. One of the team will get back to you very quickly to answer your questions or give us a call and the phone number's there. That's 01782 898 151. If we're not in the office, it does come through to our mobiles, so you will get, be able to get in contact with us. Alternatively, if you want to come and see us, you can book an appointment, come along to our office in Newcastle under Lyme, Staffordshire, and we'll be delighted to see you and answer any questions you've got. Hopefully you found this useful and looking forward to seeing you soon in Masaryk University.